just to give you a little information, I'm going to read from the script. Um, I will describe it. I will not be taking any questions uh, post reading of the script. And then subsequently, Carla Alston, the director of the Public Information Office, will answer some questions on process associated with release of the public information. Okay? So on Friday, as you all have been now reporting, the Supreme Court denied a motion filed by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department to stay the release of the documents associated with 1 October until a later date. There are many reasons why we didn't or couldn't release the hundreds of records and body cam footage immediately following the incident. Primarily, we were still investigating all the circumstances associated with 1 October. Second, there was the issue of manpower. It takes a significant amount of effort and resources for detectives to review, approve body camera footage, 911 recordings, and documents for release. Per the court order and law, we will redact certain aspects of these items for privacy reasons. Third, cost is a legitimate issue. To comply with the court's order, it will cost the LVMPD and the public several hundred thousand dollars in manpower, time, and equipment. Fourth, the overall concerns of the victims and their families. To begin the process, the videos of two of our officers who had their body cameras activated during the portions of the entry into the suspect's hotel room will be released tomorrow. What is seen on those videos no way changes the facts that we were able to clarify for you shortly after the crime. The release of the videos, 911 recordings, and documents will be made on a rolling basis. For that reason, we caution you from making conclusions based on any single release. Further releases of this information will occur on a regular basis, which we anticipate in approximately two weeks. As I promised you, when we released our preliminary investigation, a final report will be issued which summarizes all of the investigation and available information. That report will also give context to the different documents that we have been ordered to release. Internally, the task of preparing this release for all of you will not be easy. Many of our employees will have, their, have to endure relieving the incident. We are assembling detectives who we, we pulled from various assignments on the department to go over reports and body camera footage in preparation for release. Keep that in mind. We have to reassign detectives in order to accomplish this task, taking them away from their primary responsibility. At no point was the LVMPD trying to be uncooperative with the media or the public. We, are, we were operating the way we have always operated, making sure the important facts were released and that the public was in no danger following the 1 October incident. I can tell you now, we will not be granting interviews with employees as we feel this will be a burden. We as a department are trying to complete the investigation and heal as a community. I want the community to know the release of the videos, 911, and documents will have a significant impact on the victims of this tragedy. We believe the release of the graphic footage will further traumatize a wounded community. For that, we apologize. I don't know how this footage will be played in the media, but I want them to warn you, but I want to warn you, if you are a survivor or a family, lost a loved one, you should know the video from this concert is disturbing and graphic. We have always tried to protect the victims and their families of this incident. Further victimization is, a cert is certain to occur and is something we wanted to avoid. Finally, please remember that a comprehensive final report on this incident is still forthcoming. It will answer questions that may be raised in the short term as our release of information is ongoing. The Vegas Strong Resiliency Center is still operating 
at 1524 Pinto Lane. They can be reached by calling 702-455-2433 or long distance. The number is 1-833-299-2433. I would encourage you to take advantage of this community resource for counseling is available. And that will be the end. Thank you. Does he even believe the shit that comes out of his mouth? I just really feel like that was some psychological manipulation. Trying to make us feel guilty about wanting the information. It's going to re-victimize the victims. It's going to be so graphic and horrible. Well, guess what? They lived through it. They know it's bad. And I'm sure that they just want the truth. You should have thought about this six months ago. And I can't believe that he said that they weren't trying to stall or anything like that. It's complete bullshit. The last thing they want to do is release any of that body cam footage, any of the 911 calls because there was some bad, bad, bad shit going down throughout the entire strip throughout the whole of Las Vegas that night. It was bad. It was bad. And they don't want that out. They're trying to cover their ass. So, I don't know I just don't know how much they're going to redact and what they're going to manipulate. And It would be nice if there was some type of oversight in the release of this information, but I know that's probably asking way too much. Um, just the fact that they now have to release it. <coughs> I think we're on the right track. Hopefully. So it's going to be interesting to see, but don't try to make us feel guilty and feel like we're going to burden the LVMPD and take detectives off other things. Well, guess what? This is important, just as important as anything else. And it has to be done. You might as well get it over. Suck it up, buttercup. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.